your unique story, our global audience, Global One Media. Hello, and welcome to our series of interviews with leaders of companies across the board to help you, our viewers, make informed and intelligent investment decisions. I am Munir Barazi, your business analyst and host, and today I'm pleased to welcome Jean Pasalakwa, the CEO and director of First Phosphate, an exploration and development company that is devoted to extracting and refining phosphate for use in the production of cathode active material for the lithium iron phosphate battery industry. The company is listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange as PHOS and on the FSE as KD0. Hello, Jean. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, hi, Manir. Thank you for having me. For sure. So can you start by telling us about First Phosphate and its unique advantage? Yeah, so uh, First Phosphate has uh, mining properties in the saguenay lac saint jean region of Quebec, which is an area where a very rare form of uh, phosphate exists in um, in um, igneous rock. It's igneous anorthosite rock. It's 1% of the world's uh, total phosphate deposits. Um, and we have 1,500 square kilometers of claims, um, all containing um, some traces of phosphate. Some of our properties are a little bit further advanced than others. And uh, we plan to integrate um, in the region of Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean, Quebec, to go from mine all the way to cathode active material using this uh, precious phosphate material that is that is present in the region. Sounds like you're tapping into a large opportunity. And a uh, recent report uh, released from Queen's University, uh, Pufal Research Group, suggested that the Lac Alonia deposit is unique and high probable ESG compliance source of phosphate for the LFP battery industry. Could you tell us about this deposit and your other properties and their potential? Yeah, so the, the the report has gone through you know the detailed mineralogy of the property and analyzed uh, the the components of, of the deposit to find that you know there, there's there's low sulfur um, in in the deposit, which is great. Um, there's also a low radioactivity. Uh, there's low amounts of trace elements, and the phosphate is found in, in you know fairly pure format, which is not the case uh, with most of the world's phosphate, which is in sedimentary rocks around the world, which you know can sometimes contain very high degrees of contamination, including uranium, thorium, cadmium, and, and, and other heavy metals. So this is very good from the ESG scale. It means that we'll be able to process fully on, on the ESG scale um, to a, a great amount of purified phosphoric acid, and uh, we'll be able to do so in, in a way that's environmentally friendly uh, and circular. Wonderful. And is there a timeline for releasing new studies around your projects? Yeah, so we've already released uh, quite a few studies. Um, I mean, we've released our, our, our 43101 report, which gave our, our resource estimate at Laca Lorignal. We've also released, uh, you know, some of the surface samples that we've done around uh, the various properties, all showing, you know, very, very good grades of, of phosphate everywhere. Um, what we're coming up to next will be our preliminary economic assessment. La Calorignal, that's a, you know, an advanced next step of the uh, uh, mineral resource estimate. Obviously, the study uh, today that came out from Queen's University is, is, is really fundamental in that you know, it gives us ESG grade and it gives us um, sort of the, the stamp for the LFP battery industry. Um, we're also working on our detailed mineralogy. That should be out uh, shortly. Um, and our, our next steps will, will, will involve moving to, to pilot plant uh, sort of uh, methodology with our phosphate concentrate and our purified phosphoric acid. And besides those, are there other important milestones you plan to achieve in 2023 and beyond? Yes, obviously. So, you know, one, one of the um, more important things that we're doing as well is we're continuing uh, uh, drilling at Bejana Marsh, which is another property that we have, which has shown exceptionally high uh, grades of phosphate, the highest grades of phosphate that have ever been found in the area. Uh, we also plan in the future to move, you know, to a to a full scale pilot plant uh, to begin the, the the process of creating LFP cathode active material, and uh, obviously, you know, we continue to work on, uh, with our partners uh, to put together the the, the full uh, value chain from mine all the way to LFP cathode active material. Uh, those are ambitious aims, and as you know, exploration involves some degree of risk. Uh, could you walk us through your approach to managing risk? Yeah, so I mean, when we manage risk, we manage risk on, on a few different levels. Obviously, we're into exploration, we're into, you know, development of properties, uh, we're into beneficiation of phosphate rock, 
we're into uh, production of purified phosphoric acid and production of LFP cathode active material. So on the, on the first uh, pillar, which would be the exploration, obviously we have many properties. Um, we've, we've done sampling on all of them. We know that there's phosphate on all these properties. We're, we're being more the most selective and working on, on the ones that have the highest grade and the ones that are closest to the infrastructure to the deep sea ports. Um, also, we're focusing specifically on the LFP battery industry, which allows us to have a smaller mine size, closer to infrastructure, um, allows us to really uh, vertically integrate and to concentrate our capex into value-added activities, which are the next pillars, which are obviously the beneficiation of the phosphate rock, uh, the production of purified phosphoric acid, and the production of LFP cathode active material. Um, as regards the you know the purification of um, the, the beneficiation of uh, phosphate uh, rock, uh, we're obviously going gently. We're moving to a pilot plant. Our metallurgical results will be out shortly. That de risks the project on um, the purify, and we've used you know uh, the likes of Queen's University to analyze the deposit, as you saw today. We're using SGS Quebec, which is a well-known leader in, in the field of, uh, of mineralogy and uh, A and A and E engineering, which has done you know hundreds of. Uh, uh, 43101 reports, PEAs, and feasibility studies. On the purified phosphoric acid side, um, we are we are using Preon. Uh, we have uh, an MOU signed with Preon. It's the, the global leader in the production of purified uh, phosphoric acid and the technology for it, especially as regards uh, the use of igneous rock. Um, we also have an MOU in place with Port of Saguenay um, to have a, a you know a substantial uh, port facility with all the services coming to it. Um, in the next couple of years to um, to 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 lodge the uh, purified phosphoric acid plant and also the LFP cathode active material plant. And as regards the LFP cathode active material plant, what's really great about it is that you know we're we're partner agnostic. Um, there's few companies that are working in that field, and we could choose any one of those partners, or we could choose many of those partners to work with and have separate lines uh, with separate partners. This means that we don't take on the technology risk of you know, inventing the technology and, uh, and perfecting it. Wonderful, sounds like uh, an effective approach. And uh, my last question, are there any updates or catalysts that investors might wanna hear about? Yeah, so I mean, I think we've, we've mentioned all that already in our, in, in our recent discussion. I mean, Obviously, I'm exceptionally excited about uh, you know what what we're drilling up at the Beja Emma Marsh. I expect to see more results at Beja Emma Marsh. Our last results showed you know 8.6 percent to 10.6 percent uh, phosphate concentration. That's extremely high for igneous rock. It's the highest that's been found in the region. So we will be bringing up more holes in in the uh, not so distant future. And obviously, uh, you know the catalyst should should also be reflected in some of the value added activities that we're working on, like the beneficiation of the phosphate rock, production of purified phosphoric acid, um, you know, the selection of a partner for uh, homologation of, uh, of our materials into, you know, battery cells, and also, you know, uh, eventually an LFP uh, production uh, pilot plant. Sounds like you're on the right track and planning to cater to a very uh, promising market. John Pasalakwa, the CEO and Director of First Phosphate, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing all of those updates. We look forward to hearing more updates from the company soon. Yeah, thanks, Manir. It's been great to be with you and uh, would love to come back on and continue to update your, uh, your, your viewers as to our progress. Thank you very much. It's our pleasure. <laughs>